now we are going to talk about one very important aspect is the migration object builder so this is brand new in s4 hana that helps you in migrating stuff from from another system generally it's an ecc system okay so we'll go here and here first we will see the information the sap s4 hana migration object builder is an application that we can be used to adjust the migration objects that are used in sap s4 migration cockpit the migrator you use templates that specify the relevant data for each migration okay and the greatest thing is it's in microsoft excel xml files if a template does not meet your business requirement for example if relevant microsoft excel xml does not contain all the fields that you need you can use the migration object builder to adjust it so so these are the stuffs that you have to that will be covered so let's get into the doing business rather than the reading business so what we are going to do is we are going to we are going to see what's there already built okay so we are going to use something suppose we are going to use the supplier piece okay since we are doing business partner you know so that makes sense so we are here we are going to see what's already defined okay so now here another way is we can go here and create a create from template okay so let's do this piece okay and we'll put a program name we'll just put this let's see okay and here we'll select will be copied to the migration note this may take some time okay so what we are going to do is we are going to do for supplies okay let's do this and we'll click green arrow okay and it's here you can see it's creating the migration object okay so now it's churning churning it takes some time okay so so once this is created okay no well, it has created itself okay and uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to let's go back hit the back button i think it got confused so we are going to use this again we are going to create <clears throat> and from template and we'll put a name suppose just select a name so we'll select test okay and we will say we will see we'll select uh supplier okay so, so supplier. and we'll put the green arrow so it's creating now a migration cockpit and now you can see after some time this will be created okay now you see so here we can see the global data so the global data is basically the code okay it's the top top include okay we'll see the source structure which is s4 structure okay so what it's copying is you see the vendor the b group the accounting group and all those things okay these are the things the target target structures okay so if you see so no the source structures were the ecc things like the lifner and all those things the target structures are the bp data okay let's see the bp general data we will you will try to understand okay so these are the bp fields that will populate now we'll see the mapping the structure mapping 
if you notice you have to just see it in details mapping okay so here the general data is being mapped to see if you click on this so the general data is being mapped to the bp general data the general data split is being mapped to the bp role and now if you see all these things are getting mapped here now if we see the field mapping that would be very interesting the field mapping piece so here if you see the general data so the general data is being mapped to let's see where it's the mapping so business partner lifner master general data so here you can see these are interfaces so they're saying sender field is mapped to the general data now let's see so this is just a mapping tool and it's it's pretty handy so see so you see here is showing that street maps to this so we can we can just pick one that's so let's see the text restriction field so we just double click and doesn't really happen here see here so the move general uh, changes the sender to a so the bp this one is assigned to the text one so let me go and the, let's see now there is some fixed values the fixed values means suppose you want to make sure that everything that you have created has a payment terms of something so these are the these are the things that you can do so now let's see the rules so even based rules this this would be interesting so it's telling whether it's internal number or external number then it's saying supplier partner can create mandatory role the text field needs to be populated this is pretty useful and then we are going to do field based rules so the this one is so this is the parameter let's see what's the parameter and it says the domain and data elements that will give you more details okay to export parameter and the domain and data element is black and let's see the variables if there is any nothing so now what we can see it's saying not generated and what it says no documentation available for current object okay mm. now now we can create another one okay so if you see oh this was i was in change mode so here if i run the document do you want to create the document okay let's see we are going to create a document how it works so this is only for vendor we are also going to do something on the ap portion because that's 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 one place it's changing so i don't know what it's going it's just creating a document or what hmm. so just create a document without anything okay so while editing the document okay so the next one we can do is we will go back and hit the back button and we'll go here again and we'll select something that is already created so let's see something counts payable this is very good the open items we'll see the global data so the source structure that means the ecc if you know you see the left node, the vendors and all those things now we are seeing the target structure this would be nice another thing if you notice this gives the table name so this is bsik 
anything which is not cleared which is open okay now this is the target structure let's see the target mapping this is this is pretty useful you see the gl account items getting vendor open mapping only one to one relationship to the target structure this is the target structure so this is this is really useful and now if i go to the customer vendor item vendor open items so this is another one so now let's see the field mapping so the field mapping if you know see they're just moving all these records the company code move if i move this out a little makes sense see move vendor open items document date to document date can i click this Does do anything yes see so this is the parameter value that's getting populated and what type of thing i can do so here see you can do a lot of stuff so conversion of company code based on you can move you can move the system field there's a lot of stuff so it's like a it's a it's a mapping tool that is really very very essential and very important and if you see there are stuffs where you can see generally the invoice reference number would be a move change you always because you know that's that comes from the vendor you don't want to change those now there's anything so anything which is it seems like green are the ones that were moved the accounting document line the general ledger account the item text so this is this is pretty slick and you can you know use this now uh so here you want to see whether there is something technicals name on off so the technical name went away now we brought the technical names on so this is this is really this is nice so you can copy it you can reset it you want to delete it you can do a lot of things let's see the rules here the event based rules this field based rules so it's not showing anything internal rules well it doesn't have any translation objects variables field mappings is the one that we were watching so what is this display over let's see you know we are trying to so this tells you what has been changed what is not changed and all those things so this is pretty slick which which tells you all this and um, and you can do so if i click here if i click the general runtime object so let's see it's creating a runtime object and this is really this will be really helpful in doing the migration piece because most of the companies who are moving to s4 are 70 to 80 percent of the companies are for already use sap cc6 and those who are not they are welcome to the sap world and it's really helpful and they will learn a lot of new stuff so here if you see it's like as we know in sap okay but generated so it's now generated so it's ready to use so how you can use it so uh, can I use it like this? Migration, reset, synchronize. So it's now a runtime object. And uh, so it generates a function group. Oh, this is the function group. So let's go to the function group and we'll go to SC80. And we, we are going to do. We want to see the function groups here. So this is the function group that got generated. <clears throat> it, it says it created this function group. Okay, let's go here. So it's a different type of function group. So now it created all these function modules. How you execute this? 
So you, if you see, it generated all this code automatically. This is this is slick. This is really out of the blue. So this is nice. So here you have all the mapping. You see the doesn't really make sense, but whatever <clears throat> was mapped, it generated a piece of code. It's like an ABAP query <coughs> where it generated some codes behind and it creates so you will have a bunch of includes here the top include you know here you have it and the top one was the all these are the fields you see all the standard sap fields are there and mapped so this is nice so so this you should be always be using for for your process okay for migration and that that really helps you uh, you don't really need a tool to do the map. You know, this, this is out of the box SAP has provided. Um, and whenever a consultant comes to, or a consulting company tries to implement this for, tell them about all these things. Probably this will save you a, a bunch of, uh, uh, will save you half a million dollar or a million dollar in some tools that is available in S4 by standard so and uh, this this is really helpful and you can do and if you see let's go into that piece where we went let's go where is it it's probably here okay we can go here back <clears throat> and we are going back completely and here we are going into the transaction again so the transaction name is lt mom okay oops Okay, LT, LT mom. So here, if you notice, you can, I'll just click this one. And if I select one, migration object builder. And here, if I create from a template, so see what are the different templates you have. You have, Accounts receivable, activity price, activity. So SAP has done their homework on which ones you are going to use. Cost center, because it's more related with finance. Equipment, especially bill of materials, functional location in the work order, GL account, inspection method, material, material. So they, they have done purchase order, only open PO. So let's check that piece also. That would be something. So we'll just create one. And we'll just go what are the you know source field what are the my target structures and we just want to see what's happening so uh, probably it will include uh, ekko ekpo those are the tables for <coughs> PO. and every company that's going to implement sap s4 will have a PO, will have vendors uh, will have customers so it's just um it's just something it's very very beneficial so if you see if you go to the field mapping portion so let's see field mapping here it comes yes this is the mapping so you see the the document type is mapped the vendor number is mapped the terms are mapped and if i go to the put this is just the header if you go to the header change parameters, there would be something for sure. There would be stuff for item. So let's go into the item base, single character, foreign trade, there's a bunch. So there it's you just missed the item. Here it is. See short text, you have the plan, storage location, material group, material number. You name it, everything is there. So it's just, you know, it's slick. So you can do, and you can see the structure mapping, you know, the structure mapping tells you what is the header data to purchase order header. All these things are there. There's not no, not much change, truly speaking, in the PO side. There's changes in the GR side where the MB0 transactions are gone. Okay, Miko is coming back with all its power. So this is pretty useful and you should be using in the migration, migration cockpit area. And uh, since I'm covering business partners, I thought this would be also useful because you're going to convert all your vendor and customer to business partnership.